Jelko Samrajic Panonats, a man who was infamously protective of his works. Seriously, have you seen the image that he used for Plavo Oko? We get it, man. It's your work and no one should touch it. But to be fair, my picture of my copy is arguably better. Anyways, the only song I've seen fly past the radar is Tero Milos Toku Preko Save. And uh, speaking of that song, I discovered something interesting when searching for anything regarding the album Srpske Patriotske Pesme. On a Russian video sharing website, there was a music video for the aforementioned song, and I was absolutely floored by this discovery. Was there more to this? Was there a cocktail hitova for a Hugo hit? Well, no. When asked about this video, Balkan Mapper told me that it wasn't just one isolated incident. No, no, no. It was a whole VHS. Now, Pananats has always been open to distributing his music. At least he used to. On as many channels that had a song from the album, he or someone else hosted an email where you could request songs and they give mp3s of said songs. However, when I reached out to him for episode 3 of the Turbofolk Files, I got no reply. You see, in 2016 he released a single called Suza Kosovo, and ever since he's found more work and probably has been busy since then. I think the only thing he's concerned with now is people re-uploading his content without permission, especially since some asshole known as National Radio decided to illegally upload Tero Milos and possibly monetized it. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, sorry, I got carried away. Main point is, Pananats has the MP3s of the album as well as Plavo Oko, so I wonder if he has a master tape for Subske Patriotska Pesme. With that said, if he has the album, does he have the VHS? I'd say probably not. It could explain why Pananats never used the music videos he created for the songs that he posted. Or maybe it's because they're kinda silly. Not saying that I saw the VHS in its entirety. No, no, no. That would probably require some connections, your hard P2P methods, and other stuffs an old Zoomer like me wouldn't comprehend. Right, guys? Right, guys? Regarding the VHS, we don't know who published it, what the catalog number was, where it was sold, how it was sold, and unfortunately, pictures of the J card and the VHS itself have yet to surface. There is one lead out there somewhere, and that's to whoever originally uploaded the video of Terra Milos. Who that person is, well, unfortunately, we may never know. Before we go, did you know that there was an orchestra that worked on the album? The orchestra's name is known as Branislava Braneta Nikolica, and I don't think he's worked on anything else. I could be wrong, however. Any info regarding the VHS or other works that the orchestra did, you know where to go. That's all I have for this video, and I'll see you next time.